show you how to make this beautiful wreath bow using a four inch velvet ribbon. To make my bow, I'm gonna use the large pro bow. Now we sell these on the website. They're, uh, I'll give you the link uh, at the top. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, red velvet, uh, emerald green on the other side. Well, kind of a classic green. It's sort of between a lime and a emerald. And it has a white, snowy, a soft, plush edge, and it's wired. So I'm going to use my Probo. And to do that, I've set up my Probo using the large pegs. And to put, uh, the Probo comes with a ribbon holder. You put your ribbon on your holder with the ribbon coming off to the right side. And I'm going to make about a, a, between a 12 and a 14 inch bow. I'm going to pick out the holes that I want to use. I'm actually just using the Probo board just to hold my ribbon in place. I'm going to do a hand tied bow. So I'm going to measure and the closest I can get to a 14 inch bow is to use uh, the markings at, at the C mark. And that's going to give me a little smaller than a 14 inch bow, but that's fine. It'll be between 12 and 14. So put the pegs in there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is the red is the right side and the green is the wrong side. So I'm going to start with the ribbon right side up. I'm going to de determine first how long I want to make my tails. Now I'm going to make these tails a little bit long because I'm going to uh, I'm going to roll the edge up. That green is just too pretty on the opposite side to not show it some. So I'm going to uh, roll the edges of my ribbon up. So I'll need a little bit longer tail than normal. So I'm going to say, you know, maybe, a, let's see. I'm going to make my tails like 24 inches. So I'm going to measure 24 inches and I'm going to hold that 24 inch mark. And that's where I'm going to start. Now, this is my cut into my ribbon. I'll need to keep that straight, keep that, uh, know which, which end of the ribbon is my cut in. This is the working end on this side coming off the roll. I wanna make my bow first because what I have left over this ribbon, I'm gonna use in ribbon strips to go on the wreath. So, to hold this in place, I'm gonna use a little clip. I'm gonna clip this uh, ribbon end over here to my cutting mat just to kind of help hold that in place okay now got my right side up now my center mark I have a hole here that I know is my center mark so I'm gonna start with my ribbon gonna bring it around come to the center now when I get to the center I'm gonna have to twist my ribbon and get my right side up again twist that Bring that right side up and I'm gonna go around that post. I'm gonna come back to the center. I'm gonna have to twist and get my right side up again to go around this post. Now, right now I have one loop on each side. This is my second loop. This is not a huge wreath, so I'm just gonna do a two loop bow. Going around, that's my second loop. Now I'm gonna twist, get my right side up again. Come around that side. Now that will give me two loops on each side. So I come back to the center and I'm gonna twist and I'm gonna take my ribbon over the top. Now here's where I need to I don't have to, but I can cut my ribbon off at this point and um, uh, for my tails. Right now, I'm just going to leave it right there. So, take that over the top. Now, this end where we started, I'm going to unclip that, bring that around to the back. And now, now this I'm gonna bring over the bow and that's gonna make my knot in the center. And since this is a four inch wide ribbon, that four inch width is a little too much. So I'm gonna fold the ribbon uh, edges to the center and so that my 
um, knot won't be quite so wide. So I'm gonna bring that over to the front and take it underneath the bow. And you can see my pegs are coming out, that's okay. Bring it to the back. Now, kind of look at your bow. See how your knot looks, and it looks okay. Now I'm gonna take my, my cut end of my ribbon and bring it over to my left hand and take my working end of the ribbon into my right hand. Now I'm gonna just do a knot, taking my cut end over. Now I'm gonna make that knot just as tight as I can. I'll go ahead and remove these pegs. Now, we've got our tails coming to the back, and they're in the right position. Now, I can cut my ribbon off my spool, get my tails the same length. to fluff our bow. To fluff your bow, you just take one loop and pull it toward the bottom and the other loop toward the top. You don't have to pull on it too much. You just put your fingers in there and fluff it out. And now you've got a, a pretty knot in the front. And long tails and see that width is going to be just about right so now to finish off our ends I'm going to take uh, the ribbon and just roll it up a little bit roll up those ends a little because like I say that green is just so pretty you just want it to show some And you could just crimp up your tails any way that you want to fix them. But I like that finished look for just something a little different. Now you can take a, a chenille stem and just thread through the knot on the back to have something to attach it to your wreath by. Oh, be sure and subscribe to our video. There's a button right at the bottom of your screen. So you can click on that and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next videos coming out. Okay?